Hey there, it's Rachel from Paper Cravings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do glitter text in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go File, New, and pick any size template that you want. If you're going to create some wall art, so with glitter text and a white background, that always looks nice. Then you can select what size you want it to be, so like 5 by 7 if you wanted to type it in here. I'm just going to go 12 by 12 inches for this example. If you're not sure what size to do, always start large because you can shrink it down later, but if you need to enlarge it, it will make your graphics blurry. So always go bigger than you think if you're unsure on sizing. So we've got our um, template here. To make it really obvious um, what I'm showing in this video, I'm just going to make this a white background. To do that, I've got that layer selected. Click on the paint bucket tool and then click this one here. So this is the color that will be applied to your template, whatever colors up the top. So I'm going to leave this at white, which is 255 for each of the RGB codes or 6 Fs, and then hit OK, and then left click. So now I've got a white background. All right, so let's add our text. So click on the text tool over here, left click on your template, and you can type any text that you want. Glitter is really good for Christmas, or you could do like gift tags, stickers, um, wall art, a desktop background, or a screensaver for your iPhone, a monogram. There's so many different ways that you can use glitter text. Uh, I'm just going to type hello for this one. So at the moment our text is in white, so we just want to change that to black or any other color. It doesn't matter because we'll be changing it to glitter, just so I can see it better against this white background. So I'm going to click on the Move tool and just reposition that into the center so we can see what we're doing a bit better. Now the font that I've chosen is called Gil Sands MT. It's a free one you can download if you type it in Google. I do highly recommend choosing a bold font like this. Don't go with something cursive um, like that because it's really hard to read and just eh, doesn't look that good. I do recommend doing uppercase. So if you want to change that, just go to the Characters window. If you don't have that showing, go to Window and make sure Character is ticked. And then you can hit uppercase. If you've typed in lowercase, it'll automatically change it for you. So let's uh, type A. So I type that one in lowercase. If you wanted to make it all uppercase, just press Control A to highlight everything, and then hit that button there. I do like to have it on bold because I think it stands out a bit more than when I don't have it on bold. It just makes it more obvious. And I'm just going to leave the font as it is. If you've got lots of spacing between your letters, sometimes you can't change that because of the font. So this one, it is a bit widely spaced, but if it was even worse, you can drop that back to zero. Alright, so let's apply our glitter style. So if you want to add a glitter, you can make a glitter from scratch. You can do that, but it takes quite a long time and that would probably take me about half an hour to explain in the video. So I'm just going to use a digital paper or a uh, background. So this is one that I have made earlier from my shop, um, Paper Cravings. If you wanted to purchase it, you can get them from heaps of places on Etsy, not just my shop. You can find them on Google as well, on Creative Market is another good place. So you just navigate to where you've got it saved on your computer. It will be a JPEG file. Left click and drag to bring it into Photoshop and then press enter to place it. So you want your glitter layer to be above your text layer because you want to apply the glitter to your text. So to do that we need to do a clipping mask. It's really easy, just right click on that layer and hit create clipping mask. Done. So now you've got glitter text. If you wanted to show more of the glitter effect from a distance, so if you're standing far away and this was like a wall light, you probably wouldn't be able to see much of the glitter. So to make it pop a bit more, click on your glitter layer, press Control T on your keyboard, and then choose one of the corners. Make sure you choose a corner, not one of these middle ones, because if you do that, it will distort it. Hold down shift, left click and drag outwards or away from you so that it will increase the size of the pattern or the glitter style or whatever you want to call it, texture. And now we can see more of the glitter effect. So it's looking pretty good. So that's pretty much it how you do glitter text. You can experiment and you could do different glitter uh, for each color. You would just move it on your text layer. So if I bring in a different color, let's go with pink and press enter to replace it. I would just move that across a bit, press Control T, hold down shift, left click and drag, and then press enter, and then you would do right click create clipping mask. So now we've got some uh, gold, some that's pink, and you could alternate that for each for different colors. You could do multicolored glitter if you wanted to. 
Um, I recommend placing all of your glitter layers in first and then expanding out though because we can see that here we've got the glitter style um, as a bit smaller than this one. So to make it all even, bring them all in at once, hold down shift to highlight all of them and then left click and drag outwards to increase the size. So you can do multicolored glitter. The other thing that you could do is two glitter per um, text or word. So to do that, press Control T and then you want to move this up. So now we've got pink glitter up the top and then gold down the bottom. And remember, you want to expand it out at the same time. So bring on all your glitter that you want to use, all your colors, and then en enlarge the size so it's consistent. Because at the moment, that's smaller and that's larger. You could also do um, black up the top or a, or a solid color. So click on the Create New Layer button. Come over to the Shape tool, right click and choose Rectangle and then pick any color that you want. So let's go with black, which is zero for each of the RGB codes and hit OK. And then left click and drag. That's probably about halfway. You can um, get exact if you wanted to. I'll show you that in a sec. So to apply that, just right click and choose create clipping mask. So if I wanted this to be exactly even, press Control R to turn on the rulers and then left click and drag that down and it looks like it is already in the center of my letters but if it wasn't the other way that you can do that is go to image trim hit OK and then bring your ruler down just left click and drag and it will automatically find the center of your text so you can do it that way um, you'll feel it snap the ruler like move it, it wants to go to the center and then it will find the center line for you. And if you wanted to get back to your normal size template or canvas size, just go to image, canvas size, inches, and type in whatever you wanted it to be. So mine was 12 by 12 inches. You will need to um, add your background layer again though. So let's just turn those layers off with the eye icon, paint bucket tool, change it to white, left click, and then we can turn those layers back on. So you can do um, two color text that way. You could also do the reverse and have the color, um, the solid color on this side and then glitter on this half of the letter if you wanted to. I think it looks better if it's on the top um, rather than weirdly cutting the letter in half. And this way you get an even amount because for letters like L, if you did that, you would get all of the solid color, but then you wouldn't get much of the glitter. Um, so the other thing that you can do is apply glitter to a shape. So if we create a new layer, come over to the shape tool, right click and I'm going to go with custom shape. So these are a bunch of shapes that I've downloaded for free off the internet. If you type in like Photoshop brushes, Photoshop shapes, free in Google will come up with tons that you can use, some cute dogs, cats, lots of different um, graphics. I'm just going to go with the heart. So I believe this one comes with Photoshop already. If not, you can do like heart um, Photoshop shape free download and it'll come up with plenty. So if you do not know how to add shapes, I do have another video where I show how to install them um, in Photoshop as well. So I'll include, a link for that. I'll include a link for that below this video. So like we did before with expanding this out, remember when we held down shift, you want to do the same thing with a shape so that makes sure that your heart is perfectly proportioned. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit distorted and it doesn't look very nice. But if you hold down shift, it'll keep it nice and um, consistent. So we can use a different fill color or you can apply the glitter style. So let's move that one down um, above our hello and I'm going to make that one hot pink glitter. So I've already got that glitter layer. I'm just going to left click and drag to reposition it. Right click, create clipping mask and then turn that layer back on. So now I've got some glitter, um, glitter shape and glitter text. Remember if you wanted to increase that, just click on that layer, I'll press um, Control T and then hold down shift and drag outwards and then you can oops and then you can increase the size of the glitter. So it looks pretty cute. So you can do lots of different things with glitter styles. I do in glitter textures, patterns, etc. I do have another video tutorial where I show how to make glitter patterns in Photoshop. So if you're interested in that one, I'll include a link below this video as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any other questions, any other tutorials that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments or send me an email via allaboutthehouseetsy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.